Hey y'all, this is Brett, and today I want to show you the new soles that I put on the new handmade shoes. And um, the reason I'm doing them differently is because of this. <laughs> it's been about four and a half, five months now since I made these shoes. And um, they've been really cool, and they've worked out in so many ways, and you can tell that I've really worn them. And I've walked many a mile in them. And some things worked out and some things didn't quite work out. But the sole uh, just didn't work out. And Somebody told me, remember the guy, uh, uh, John at Jackson's Leather? I showed these to him and he said, oh, those will be worn out in six weeks. Well, they lasted more like longer than that. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but, um... Today I'd like to show you the new wooden soles. They're like um, cleats, spikes if you will, but they're wood. And they're screwed onto the bottom of the shoe, like so. And I don't know if they'll work or not. But uh, it's going to be cool to try them out and, and see. And you never know, we may have to make some modifications, like they may have to be screwed on with two screws each, like this rear one that holds better than the others from turning, because there's two. It doesn't turn. We'll see if the other ones turn much, uh, how often I have to retighten them, or I don't know if they just wear out too fast. I don't think they will because that's this, uh, that's the uh, the purple, the really hard, hard purple heart wood from Brazil. And um, and so they're replaceable. They're always replaceable. And uh, we'll see how long they last and how well they do. All the uh, edges on them should give me good traction, whereas these were just a nightmare. <laughs> I tried to cut some grooves as you can see around the edges there. I tried to cut some little grooves that didn't do much at all. <laughs> but um, that, that ought to give me some good traction there. <laughs> They're three-eighths of an inch thick and one inch wide for the most part. Those are a little wider. But then um, the orthotics on these kind of worked out. The built-in orthotics kind of worked out, but kind of not really. And they kind of leaked. They didn't, they didn't work near as good as my regular orthotics. So what I needed to do is just make kind of a regular pair of shoes, if you want to call them that. <laughs> and then put my regular orthotics on the inside. Now these the holes kind of stretched a little bit on them. I mean, it's not like they're going to break because that's freaking buffalo hide, you know? They got dirty. I could clean these up, you know, but there's no sense in bothering at this point. But, um, but the holes kind of stretched a little bit. So what I did with these is I put a, a thicker piece. I sewed a thicker piece of leather onto here, and this is where we'll put the holes, the, the punch holes for the straps. And that way, additionally, the straps won't rub on the top of my feet, which wasn't a big deal because it's fairly soft. After it wears in, it's fairly soft. But this will protect the top of my feet from the top, the edges of the straps. And additionally, rocks would fly in through the front and the back, and so I'd kind of, I kind of fixed the back like that with these. But these are done right, and they will be all sealed. The toe, like that, and the heel will be sealed, like, like that, with a buckle and strap, etc. And so, yeah, I, I would say that my first pair of shoes, my prototypes, those, were an absolute success and taught me a lot of things. Absolute success. And that I am crossing my fingers that the next pair, these, will be even better.
and we'll just keep improving and improving. That's how it goes. You just, it's the same way with healing, you know. Right now, I want to tell you, I am watching and just soaking up Muji. M-O-O-J-I. If you are ready to calm your mind and get out of your mind and body and be just in your conscious state of being, then do what I'm doing right now. I'm watching Muji every night for a full sangha. I watch a full sangha. Last night I was like grooving to almost watch a, another one. And so I'm watching them every night and I just, I can't tell you exactly why, but I am really feeling good inside me for doing it. And I feel as though everything is just getting better because of it. I'm improving my spirituality and that needed to catch up with the others. Sometimes you'll get lagging behind in some, and then you have to, to, you know, catch up. But in any case, I'll put a link to a Muji Sangha that's going on now for another week. It's, been go it's, a, it's a month long. It's been going on for three weeks. And I'm not sure if they have any live ones on tonight, but they're live most nights from India during this time of the year. Muji, live in Rishikesh, Rishikesh, however it's pronounced. <laughs> so I want to thank you for joining me, y'all. Happy walking!